What is up guys, my name is Achena, welcome to episode 17.5, or Express, episode 2 of uh, 3D Game Programming in Java. Alrighty, so uh, last time we took a look at uh, how to actually export our our project, our game as, an, a, as a runnable jar, so that we could actually run it on different computers and test it and stuff like that, and actually play it without having to open Eclipse and have our code there. Um, this time, what we're going to do is actually basically export our game so that we can actually run it inside a web browser. Alrighty, so uh, let's, let's go. Okay, first of all, we actually have to add some code in that tells Java to run this as an applet. Okay, and an, and an applet is basically a Java application that can be run within a web browser. Um, alrighty, let's just jump in. Okay, so we've got our got a game right here, and uh, seems to be seems to be working fine. Um, let's go ahead and go and make a new class. So we're just going to make it in the uh, in the core like folder or package, whatever you want to call it. It's technically called a package, but in this thing, not in the graphics or input, just in the normal one. Right click, hit, hit new, and class. Okay, right clicking here and hitting new just makes makes sure that you're actually in that package. Um, and let's just call it mine front applet and hit finish. Alright, so now we've got a new class and uh, if you actually remember from like the second tutorial, I believe the second episode, um, I went over how this start and stop thing is very is like is basically imperative to use when you're making an applet and um <laughs> Uh, I'll sort of show you guys that now. Uh, first of all, stop. If you notice, stop is it's never used locally. It's never used. Like we've never actually all this code right here. We could delete it and the game would still run because we we haven't actually used this code at all. We've just written it there. So now we're actually going to use it. Alrighty. So let's go into uh, Minefront <laughs> applet and all we're going to do first of all is actually extends. Whoop. We want it to actually extend the applet class. So extends applet. And you'll have to import it. So just hit import. Um, and uh, Java just wants you to add a default serial version ID. Don't worry about that. Just add it to remove that warning. Um, alrighty. So what we, what we actually want to do now is make an object out of this display class because this is our main class, right? We want to make an object out of this in this class. So let's just go ahead and say private uh, display and I don't know, we'll just call it display equals new display. So we're basically creating the display class object within this applet class. And now I'm going to sort of go through a few, uh, a few of the things that we need to do for the applet to run. So first of all, let's make a public void and uh, make sure that you call it init as an initialize. Um, and we're just going to set the layout to new border layout. Alrighty. And also we're going to add display. So what's it, what this is doing is basically, and we got to import border layout. Um, basically what this is doing is actually I better be recording this, by the way. Yeah, I am good. Okay, right. Um, what this is doing is just basically setting a layout to our frame and actually adding. So this is kind of like, because we're replacing the J-frame, right? Instead of using this code to actually start up the J-frame, which is what brings me to another problem, our cursor blank thing is within this J-frame, so it won't be affected for our applet. We will still see the cursor in the applet already, or at least I think we will. Um, because that class is affected to the JFrame. We're not using a JFrame anymore because we're actually going to be embedding it into a browser. So that's why um that's why we need to sort of do the JFrame code but with the applet code. So we need to add display here. So over here you see that we added the game and game was an object of display. I don't know, I just called it display here. You could call it game. Um here we're doing the same thing. We're just adding display. Um, alrighty, and we also need to make, okay, now this is important, public void start, okay, this is what, this is what code will run when we want to start the applet, so when we load the page with the applet containing in it, um, and what we actually need to do here is read, uh, our start and stop classes. Now, two things, first of all, let's make this public, because it's currently private, I just noticed that, and obviously we can't read it. We can't actually read this method 
in this class in a different class if it's set to private. So that's why you need to make it public. The other thing I want to do is set it to synchronized. Now, synchronized, I'm not going to go ahead and explain it, and I'm going to also copy it and paste it into here. Synchronized, basically on a glance, it helps with with threading. Okay, so it helps the threads to run properly, basically. Um, it's better, it's like a safety precaution, a precaution, what am I doing? Precaution, it's like a safety precaution um, when you're when you're using threads, okay? So put public synchronized void, make, but make sure it's public, okay? Most important thing. Alrighty, so and now when our applet starts, what do we want to do? We want to, we want to initiate, we, we, we want to run this method. So it's called start, so display dot start. Alrighty, and similarly, when we when we want to stop our applet, then you know we do the exact same thing. We just read display dot stop, and that's it. That is literally it. So if you run the code, you won't notice anything different at all. Um, it's still the same old thing, but. Uh, We've got our applet code. Now, this is the most important thing. Alrighty, so now we're actually up to the stage where we're going to export our code. So let's go ahead, file, um, export. Now, last time we exported as a runnable jar file. Now, we don't need to do that. We need to export it as a jar file. Okay? So this is not a runnable file that you can double click. This is just like a, a, um, What's the best way to explain this? It's it's just a file. It's just like an archive of all of our classes, right? So jar file under Java, jar file. Hit next. Right now um, under here, just hit source and resources. We don't need to export all these class path and project settings. Don't worry about that. Just make sure that you're exporting all of your source code, obviously, and all of your resources like the textures, if you because you need the textures to obviously appear. Um, otherwise, it'll crash. Okay, so that. All this should be fine. Um, I'm just going to name it Mine Front Applet. It's already here. Hit save and uh, hit finish. And that's it. It's exported. Alrighty. So, what it should have done is, let me just minimize this, is created a, uh, a jar file. Now, this isn't runnable. Like, you can't, you can't mm -hmm. open it with this. It failed to load main class. You can't, like, you can't, okay, you can't actually run this. This is, this isn't a runnable jar file. This is just basically a, an archive. So if you open it, you'll see, you know, you got your, your com, and you got all, all of our classes here, including our Mindfront Applet class, which we just wrote, and the textures, okay? Our, our, our resources folder. So our source and resources folder are all here. Now what we actually need to do is I'm just going to show you guys quickly how to write a uh, an HTML file. Now this isn't really an HTML tutorial, so I'm just going to write the the most basic um, file, and I'm just going to call it Mindfront. Uh, Mindfront. We'll just call it Mindfront, and um, let's go ahead and open this text. So I've just created just open Notepad, right? Open Notepad and start typing this. Okay. If you know HTML, obviously you can you can you can actually improve on this, but for the time being. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go through all this. So first of all, it's HTML. So let's just go ahead and say that it's well, it's HTML, and we'll close that HTML tag straight away. Um, I'm, I actually don't think you have to do that anymore. You used to have to, but I, I'm just bear with me. Let's quick, let, let's go ahead and quick, quickly give it a head and a title. So the title is, um, let's just call it my front, my front applet. Um, this is better done in Dreamweaver actually, but I know that. A lot of you guys might not have dream where is waiver is not free. Um, let's set the background color to a nice gray. That's what I usually do. So we'll set it to this is just the hex of the color. Make sure that's six twos. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Whoop. Um and let's make it in the center. And okay, now this is important. Okay, so you guys, if you don't know HTML, I don't know. A, lo a lot of you probably do know HTML because HTML is well, it's not Java. It's it, it's just a markup language. It's really easy to learn. Um, I'm not going to go through that. I'm sure you could find an HTML tutorial, or if you don't know what any of these tags mean, just Google them. Um, but this is important. Okay, now basically we've just created a basic layout, and actually uh, I know that I actually want to leave paragraphs and breaks here. This is just aesthetical things, right? So this BR is a break. That's just like a that's just like hitting enter. And paragraph P 
is just like a paragraph so that leaves a bigger space. Um, this is just this will just aesthetically make it look good. That's all. Um, okay. So and also you guys wanted a long tutorial after the really short one on Sunday because it was my birthday. So hey, here it is. Um, alrighty. So let's go ahead and say okay. So applet code equals now this applet code is okay this is important by the way that was all just HTML this is obviously still HTML but this is how we actually tell our web browser to actually run what's over here um, so our applet code basically is asking for the location of the class that we want to run so in this case it's com mime mine front mine front applet dot class okay that's what we want to run so we need to tell it okay this is how you find it. Now remember, this is, even though it's in folders, this is still like Java. So what we actually need to do is put dots instead of forward slashes or backslashes or whatever. Dots, okay? That indicates another folder. com.mime.minefront.minefront applet. Now you don't have to put dot class. Um, I think it might actually not, I, I haven't tried it actually. You don't put dot class, just minefront applet, that's all. And now we need to specify, okay, well, what archive is it in, right? So this is this is how to get there once you're in this archive, but like, what's the where's the location of this of this file? Um, so we just need to put archive equals and mine front. What's it called? Mine front applet. Mine front applet dot jar. Alrighty, so this is th now this will change by the way according to where this is located, right? So obviously this is our HTML file, um, and this is our archive. They're in the same folder. They're both on the desktop, which is why this will work. If it would be in another folder called I don't know Java, then you'd have to go obviously Java slash Minefront Applet. Or if it was in the previous folder, you have to do that, etc., etc. Um, but it's it's in the same. Just keep that in mind. If it, if this doesn't work for you for some reason, make sure that both of these files are in the same directory. That's all. Um, now also what we need to do is actually set a width and a and a height to this thing. So we'll set the width equal to 800 because that's the width of our frame, and height equal to 600 because that's the height of our frame. Uh, and that's that's all we need to do. Let's just close the applet tag. And that's it. All right. Um, that's actually it. Okay. I'm pretty sure we close everything. Um, we didn't close our body. That's one thing that we need to close. All right. Hit Control S. Um, or you know, file save. And uh, this is it. This should run. Okay. So first of all, let's actually rename this. And uh, instead of text, oh, I should probably explain this, shouldn't I? Okay. Um. If you don't have extensions already here, I think you need to go tools. Let's turn into a Windows tutorial. Um, view and make sure that you are that hide extensions for known file types is not on. Otherwise, you'll just see it as this, and you'll be like, okay, well, how do I change this to an HTML file? Because it's currently a text document, as you can see. Um, so make sure that this uncheck that, and here we go. So now we've got dot text. So right click, rename, and let's change this to HTML and hit yes. So now this will open with your default web browser, for me it's Chrome. So double click on this to open it. And hopefully this will work. It'll give us an error that we can quickly diagnose, at least. Alrighty, my, computer, my computer's being slow today. Okay, so Java, the Java plugin needs your permission to run. Run this time, whatever, doesn't matter. Um, so it's loading, and here it is. Radio, it worked. Um, and as you can see, the frame rate is pretty much the same as if we run it. It was 42. Yeah, that's the same as if we run it in a jar f in, in a runnable jar file. You can see that our Java is happily working here. Alrighty, and we, it's playable game. It's in a, it's in our web browser, as you can see. I just the reason I as well I didn't really explain this, but the reason I actually left so many spaces here as well was because like this stuff was because you know I didn't want the applet to be at the very top of the screen. I just left a few spaces here. That's all. This, that's just as aesthetical. Don't worry about that. You don't need that. Um, but yeah, that's how you put an applet and I put it into the center, obviously, by using this center tag. And added a nice background color so that it wouldn't be white. Um, 
Not that there's anything wrong with white, it's just that, well, it hurts your eyes. Um, alrighty, so that's our game in a web browser. And obviously you can upload this to a website, do whatever you want with it. Um, that's, I guess that's it for this tutorial. Um, one quick thing, also, hit the like button if you like this because, well, it helps me out. Um, and the other thing was, uh, yeah, on Sunday we're going to be starting walls and obstacles, hopefully. Well, definitely, actually. So, um, that'll be a huge tutorial. Don't want to miss that. Um, but the other thing is, like, I've actually run out of ideas for what to do in these midweek episodes. Um, so, because my original plan was to show you guys how to export it as a runnable jar file and how to, you know, export it as an applet. But, yeah, so if you guys have, have any requests which don't modify the source code, I know you guys are probably going to be saying, oh, next midweek episode, episode, add a gun to the game. Like, that's, that's huge. Like, that's for the actual Sunday night episodes. Um, well, at least it's Sunday night in, in Australia when I upload it. It's probably Sunday morning in the US or whatever. Uh, but, um, yeah, so something that doesn't really, I'm just gonna, okay, yeah, so you can see that our curse is here, but we can't really do anything about it now. There's probably a way to fix it, I'm not gonna deal with that now, though. It works, which is what's important. Um, something that doesn't modify our code that much, like, we just added a new applet, cl applet class that didn't change our game, it just, um, you know, it was just like a, like a quick tip to a 16-minute, 40-second counting tip, uh, <laughs> on how to actually run this as, you know, as an applet in our web browser. So, uh, if you guys have any requests for next week's midweek episode, then drop a comment below, and uh, be sure to like the video if you liked it, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on Sunday. Goodbye.